The goal of this pro class is to introduce you to our LED bar kit external driver generation one, aka LBE. This product is very similar to our LBI, the LED bar kit internal driver, except this includes a bar and an external driver. This is one of our most popular products to date. The reason for it is that this is a great low cost way to retrofit an existing fixture with either T5, T8, or T12 fluorescent lamps, convert it to LED, and get rid of all of the issues associated with type A, type B, or type C LED tubes. These bars are very easy to use. You have a heat sink on the back, you have a diffused cover that has beautiful light on the front, you have end caps that accept a screw, you have a white cable so that you don't see the wires, on the back of it here, you have two integrated rare earth magnets to secure it to the fixture. On the driver side of things, it's a very simple driver. We have multiple drivers available from 10 watts all the way up to 80 watts. And you have your two input wires. And then on the output side, you have a red and black for your LED bars. And then you have purple and gray for your dimming. These kits are available in either 1X, 2X, 3X, or 4X systems. The 1X system would be one bar and one driver. The 2X system would be two bars and one driver. The 3X system would be three bars and one driver. And the 4X system would be four bars and one driver. So whether you're retrofitting a fixture with only one fluorescent tube or four fluorescent tubes, this is a really versatile way to retrofit that fixture so simply with only one driver to replace that fluorescent ballast. The LED bar kit external driver light bars are available in, in either two foot, three foot, or four foot lengths. The length of the bars is less than exactly 24, 36, or, thir or 48 inches. The reason for that is so that the bar can be located in between the existing T5 or T8 fluorescent sockets. This means that you can go into your existing fixture, remove the fluorescent lamps, remove the ballast, put this bar in place, and leave the sockets, just snipping the wires to the sockets. That makes for often a very fast installation compared to removing those sockets altogether. We call that entombing the sockets in place. Our drivers were designed to be quite compact so that they can fit existing fluorescent ballast footprints. So for example, this is one of our smallest drivers. This is the 10 watt driver. You can see it's a very small uh, T5 ballast style, so that if you're going into some very tight T5 architectural fixtures, this will fit perfectly. And then this is our 60 watt driver here, which is a larger footprint, but again, will fit in that existing footprint for that fluorescent ballast. Because we have so many different lengths, uh, kit configurations with the 1X all the way up to 4X, as well as so many different driver designs, it really makes for so many different potential lumen packages. So this is so versatile to achieve the proper uh, ROI that you're looking for the right, because you can use the right wattage and lumen package that's exactly dialed in to what you need and not using more than what you need. These kits can be ordered with emergency battery backup, they can be ordered with any of our sensor options or control options for our basic options that are going to be fixture integrated um, and be able to see through fixture lenses but won't be grouped, all the way up to more advanced systems like Lutron or LG, Zigbee, Bluetooth, no matter what your advanced uh, network lighting control system is that you're looking for, these bars can be compatible with it. So make sure you contact any of our engineers if you're looking to build a more complete system with controls because we have a lot of experience using these products with all different types of control system. One great installation practice that I'd like to point out is what I would call delamping. So that means that, for example, if we had a vapor tight fixture in a parking garage with two 32 watt T8 fluorescent lamps, you have a choice here. You could put two of these light bars, one for each fluorescent lamp in place, or you might choose just to use one light bar. That'll save you money on materials, money on labor, and you would just use a higher wattage driver so that you drive this bar to a higher lumen package. But you can often achieve the same light output 
and look that you would get with multiple bars, but use less of these bars. So that'll save you money and costs and installations. And if you have any questions on proper ways to do that, definitely contact our team and we'd be happy to look at a layout for you and recommend the best possible lowest cost solution. All LED bar kit external drive products come standard with a 120 to 277 volt input driver. We also have optional 347 volt input drivers. Uh, they have standard 0 to 10 volt dimming. If you're interested in triac dimming or Lutron dimming, please contact us because we have options for that. They have 130 lumens per watt of efficiency. They operate in negative 30 all the way up to 40 degrees Celsius. They have a super rigid PC lens. They have a power factor over 90% and a THD under 15%. They have 80 plus CRI, 120 degree beam angle, an L70 of over 100,000 hours, and a 10 year warranty. So you can see why the LED bar kit external driver is one of the most popular products here at Light Efficient Design year after year. It is the most versatile way to retrofit T5, T8, or T12 fluorescent lamps in any style linear fixture. Thank you so much for participating in this pro class. If you have any additional questions, please look at the cut sheet on our website or contact any of our experienced staff. Thank you.